welcome back to Drunk Dad's Watch. I'm Rick. I'm Chris. Today, we got the finale of season one of Ozark. About time, right? Sorry. That's right, he's excited. So am I. And you should too. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying our vibe. Last episode, we lost Russ. Ah, oh, that pissed me off. Yep. I was kind of hoping to see, like, the aspects of, uh... Kind of like what was it in the wire, like seeing him like maybe in jail with the dad or something, like just to kind of yeah. extend that kind of. I mean, he was a central character in season one. Like you thought, you didn't expect him to get off that quickly. Yeah. But I thought that was also kind of cool. Like you don't know, it's not as um, it's not as obvious as like a, or I should say as massive as like a big death in Game of Thrones. I'd say, but like right. it's still like it me now you don't know which characters are gonna come and go. And yeah. It could be anybody. Um, I think Ruth made the right choice picking Marty over them. And, um... Yeah, I wonder what her dad's gonna say. Petty lost his shit at the bar because he had Russ under his wing and now he's got nothing. the damn television. Yeah, who does that? Really, honestly. Who does that? That's how we make our living. But, so you've liked the season so far? I've loved the season so far. It's great. I'm like, yeah, it's... I have no idea where this is going. You wanna do this? Yeah, I wanna. I'm gonna get into this. Let's do this. Join us. Oh! Drink this. Marty! I'm ready. I, I know we said yes, but I don't think this is a good idea. Ugh. Was last night really an accident? Yeah. Well, then I want to go. Oh, you know? We'll get some lunch. We'll get some lunch after the service, okay? Whatever doctor decided mayonnaise was bad for pregnant ladies should have his medical license revoked. <laughs> I actually like Mason's wife. Yeah, she's got a good... I was worried that she was going to be that, like... Annoying? No, but like... Easy annoying. That, and I don't want to hear any damn comments. I'm talking about, like, that Bible thumping, like, where, like, yeah. she's going to be right yeah. with a man and be like, no, but God will sit, like, like that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, I like that he's devout, and she's like, you've got to do this, and we're going to die. Yeah. Like... Wow. He's even helping loading the goddamn books. Yeah. Bible, sir. It's heavy. It's just a few basics. How are your cousins? I made them bacon pancakes. I'll put these in some water. Is that how she just chucks them in the lake? <laughs> Thank you. I just want to tell you how sorry I am about your father and your uncle. Anything we can do. Thanks. Did he know that that's the guy they were going for? No, I, why knew nothing. He's just pissed at his dad's dead, I think. Do now use Do not the participate. pointer to read along, or the, use the syringe to... Instead, <laughs> even expose Do not participate in the unfruitful deeds of darkness. Deeds of darkness. Oh, I like the way this is shot. The Bible says one thing, and then it says something else. I'm failing you. I... You need to stop. I need to distribute these, and you need to keep preaching. Don't fucking touch me. Ooh. Service is over. I'm sorry. Service is over. You got what you came for. I need to talk to Jacob. Oh, Mason, you're being fucking stupid. I understand that it's tough, though. How do you? You're like selling Jesus. out. Just turn the other cheek. I'm gonna make some lemonade. You were clear, and you have been patient. Oh, no. I always hate. Because it's always so good, but like when the the girlfriend or the wife or something is like that poison in your ear, because it always yeah. seems like he was like, "Well, we got to figure something out." Maybe. She's like, "You need to fucking kill him." All right, I got <laughs> all right. Like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, damn it! Like, mm -hmm. go up, huck at your gun. Mm -hmm. Got it for the boy. What the hell? Oh boy, is this where they fucking put the money? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Don't do it. I thought I could. And then I saw their faces. And I just... Stop, man. I get it. Tash, make sure the handles are back in our possession and we can say our goodbyes to Mr. Young. That's it? Just like that, I'm free? You're always free. Did you know that? Huh? I know where that spoon's been. 
Life is all about choice. It's gonna kill his wife. And right about now, all either of us can do is accept that. Guess I am getting sentimental in my old age. That right? is the worst ringtone for yeah. that area. In case you didn't let us do our job today. Matter of conscience. And I respect his decision, I do, of course. He's gonna have to respect the consequences. Grace? No more talking. Too much talk, and words lose the meaning. Damn it. <clears throat> What's done? Marty. Kept my promise, plain and simple. They cut the kid out of her? What the fuck does that mean? Search your soul, Warren. You'll know. Oh, shit, they... So she's dead, but the kid's not. Life is simple, really. It's all about hard work. Holy crap. Tell me Grace is okay. Oh, God. Grace is past saving, Mr. Bird. Ooh. It's your own family on the line now. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. The fact that you hear the kid, I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. crap. Darlene, you fucking crazy bitch. What did you do? Half yeah, expecting to it to be still connected to its mother. Dead on the floor? Yeah, so that's what I thought I was about to say. Why couldn't you just fucking do what they told you to do, dude? Like, like this is on fucking I, I, morals. God, yeah, fuck that. Not when your You're, family's wait, he did he ever he didn't know the consequences. Oh boy. You gotta get the kids out of here, okay? But Mason didn't know the consequences. Mason never heard, oh, if you don't go in Yeah, the no, he said that. He was like, it's gonna be my family, then it's gonna be your or something like oh, that. Did he say that? I, th I thought it was something like that when he leveled with him about what was going on outside oh, maybe, the church. Maybe, maybe. How do you fucking keep your closure? Soon. How do you fucking handle this? <sighs> Dude, I need you to land. <laughs> I wanna buy your product. That's $300,000. That's my estimate for the street value of what was on the boat today. I'm prepared to be your sole customer every week. Smart, Marty. I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze. I wanted more lemonade. I wasn't asking your <laughs> goddamn <laughs> negative opinion. Felt that the smartest way to deal with the problem was just to eliminate it. To eliminate it? <laughs> I got a fresh bag. <laughs> well, look, I know that it sounds crazy, but you just have to trust me. I don't like the door being open. Okay. What the fuck? Jonah. Move. <laughs> oh shit. Jonah, fuck him up! So where are you going without Marty, Wendy? Oh boy. There we go. Jonah. Getting in front of the women. That's what yep. I'm talking about. You need to leave. Yeah. No. We're gonna visit for a while, right? All I gotta do is aim for your knees and yeah. I'm gonna take that gun from you. No, you're not. Oh, no. <laughs> oh holy sh You got what the fuck you think you're doing? Knew it. Oh, no it! You need to shut your tamale hole. <laughs> Get in your car. <laughs> oh kind of man. Talks like that to a child. Oh, buddy, fuck him up. Buddy, you have no idea what you're doing. Uh. That's all. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now it's not pointing at buddy. Oh, buddy. That that fucking fu knew. I forgot he took the bullets out. Yeah, I forgot too. I told him that's right. <laughs> to Molly Hole. <laughs> God, is he crude. Oh, he's so fucking good, though. It was the only way. Trust me. <laughs> Where's Wendy and the kids? <sighs> Fuck yeah, buddy. Buddy! Buddy. Hug that. What now? 
Wait for dark. Get rid of the body. Oh boy, I forgot about that. You know, by shooting him, you, you basically signed my death warrant. Nah. Well, remind me, next time I'll let him kill your family. <laughs> Marshmallows? Man, that is fucking handy. How exactly did it happen? Did he care about Russ? Freak accident? He did. He saved Morty one time. And the same thing happens to Russ, remember? Right. I'm sorry, you have some kind of special interest in this? Russ Lainmore was my fishing guide. He was my friend. Uh, maybe he was. If you thought there was something strange going on... He seems weird enough to have actually formed a bond with him. Even when he I'm sure that. there's people you could talk to. Okay. What, what are you doing? Is she just running? I think so. I hate people. Rachel, what are you fucking doing? Fucking hate people. This is that a part of you that would do this? No. Not even for a second. Nope. You wouldn't take that one is Not my goddamn money. I don't need to die over that stack. Yeah. I'd maybe take a I'd take a pinch. Oh. Oh yes! Sorry, we're closed. Dell's here! Guy didn't answer the phone. Are you cold? You're shaking. Yeah, we had an accident on the dock a couple nights ago and two men died, so... Uh, should I tell Marty who stopped by? No. I'd rather surprise him. Dell's at the Ozarks. Oh. That would be great if the next scene, you just see her putting it back. Yes. Fuck, 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 yeah. fuck, fuck! He knows Dell. Stop fucking around, Petty. Stop drinking. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. He's at least three beers deep. Time to get on back on the fucking show. Four beers oh, deep. Oh, that was cool. He's the only other person that would know exactly who that is. That's cool. Uh, license plate number, right? Rachel. Rachel, what are you doing? She's scared. I mean, she got two people die that she's pretty fucking sure that Marty had something to do with. She's she has. A you can't be that fucking dumb though. Rachel, like, if you take that money, you are you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah. And we never see Rachel again. I don't know about that. <laughs> I feel like the feds are gonna find something and they'll be like, alright, now we got her with all this money, but I mean if she just leaves and that's the end of her story, I'm like, oh good. Whatever. Oh shit. This is a guy that was getting tabs on Sugarwood. Marty sent me. Mm. He was the one that was giving that gave Marty the info in the first episode. He instructed me to bring you these. Names, passports. There's passports, social security cards, birth certificates. We'll also need your phones. No fucking way, Charlotte. Look, my Please whole life's in there. Oh. And you can set up accounts in your new names. Now it's got real. The cell phone, I'm out. My, my TikTok! <laughs> How do you know my husband? He hired me a few months back. Did he ask you to make these up recently, or when you were doing your investigating in Chicago? Oh, good question. It was after I finished my work for him. The day before you left. He always had an exit strategy. Now it's Marty. Hey, hey, Dell. It's amazing. I was literally just about to call you. <laughs> yeah, got the answer to all our problems. And what kind of problems do I have, Marty? Uh, it's a bad choice of words. It's just a figure of speech. No, it's a good word. What else do you call it when your trusted lieutenant refuses to answer your calls? What are you talking about? Where the fuck is Garcia? Where's Garcia? Warden just called me in. Told me my brothers were dead. Is that true? Yeah. I got electrocuted on a dock. 
at the Blue Cat Lodge. Marty Bird. How's his health? He's fine. That's probably not the answer you want to give. You and me are going to talk in person. Yeah, good. Listen, Daddy, um... Your call is no longer connected. You know what? Fuck you. What are you, you paying for my Uber, bitch? I'm not going to the prison. Fuck you. Yeah. I don't want three growing up knowing that his dad was willing to be a murderer. Okay? Good for you, wife. I was thinking that maybe I could call social services and you, see if they let me be your She's guardian. Not to, like... You know, give you rules and shit, but keep you in the house. Yeah, I'd lose you. More just so nothing can ever split us apart. Fuck yes, Ruth. Yeah. Now clean this shit up. Yeah. Go do your fucking chores. <laughs> Take that titty poster down. Yeah. I do not know where he is. I do not know where he is. Oh. Delco. No. No. I have no idea where the. Oh, oh my God. God. No. Shit. Oh my motherfucker! Fuck! Why would he call and tell me there was a problem? How Holy the fuck shit! I know. I don't know. I don't know. He just ripped his fucking big I've toenail. I've got no idea. I've, I've had that happen. Oh, not remember the pair of fucking tin snips? <laughs> I've got no idea where Garcia is. Hang on, goddamn it! Uh... Ooh. Fuck! fuck. Why would I do anything to him? I finished the summer, I got a new shipment. My life is good. Ow, fuck you! Oh, why are you taking this? We both know that you barely made the eight million. What makes you think you can handle 15? Shit. I've got a plan. That's why he's told out fuck you. I'm surprised. He kind of started pulling finger at him. Like... I'm getting my fucking toenails ripped off. <coughs> Jesus. This episode's good. I just need you to have an open mind. This is uh, Camino Del Rio. He's a representative from oh, the oh, no, they're there. drug cartel oh, in Mexico. Shit. They are at the snow farm. Gentlemen. Oh, this is cool. Jacob and fucking Dell. And why would I consider this? Because you lose roughly 20% of your product to seizure at the border. It would also put you about seven hours from your central hub in Chicago. And you make good money controlling all the heroin in this area? Yes, we do. I'm sorry. I just have no way to tell. No. Yeah, the house is kind of shit. It's, it's not like an impressive, I guess, place. And it would alleviate their distribution problem. I'm a man of charity. You know this of me. But helping the less fortunate is not my primary motivation. Oh, shit, you piece of shit, dude. Stop disrespecting them. This here, right there, this is your property. Okay, and the first time I came here, you pointed out this stream right here. All the way there, all the way up into Jefferson City. It hits the Missouri. You could, hit, you could float shit down there. Missouri law states that a riverboat casino can be built within a thousand feet of any approved river. The Missouri River makes that list. If you dam that stream right here and you flood these three what? acres, you turn it into a river. You're aware of our family history. How we come to be it's on this hill. three acres. But this is three acres. That's three acres you have Gunther shitting in. Like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> a casino oh, will be able to handle all of the money laundering needs from your operation and of yours. Riverboat Casino? You're too stupid to understand what it is you're suggesting. I don't think I'm the stupid one. You have spent your profits to buy roughly 10 acres of surrounding property every year. If I had to guess, I would say that your goal is to get some kind of leverage over that power company that displaced your people long ago with that flooding. Year. You'd be able to do in five years what no Snell has been able to do in the last 75. Ooh. Damn! Mark! So good! Yeah. So good! So good! Yeah, who's the stupid one now? Yeah, listen to him. Is Dell up for this though? They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna go for it, I think. Yeah. Jacob's gonna go for it. 
If you can keep Darlene in line. Mr. Del Rio. Do we have an accord? I need to make a phone call. You tell something to the boss? That means Del likes it, I think. Probably, right? That's a brilliant... So good. I don't want them touching anything. Some racist. I mean, is the first Shh, racist character you've ever met? Fuck up. Yes. Bird residence. Hi, it's Wendy. Are you safe? Fuck up. <laughs> I love it. Listen, I've been trying to get in touch oh with Wendy, and he's God, it's the Scalari brothers. And I, I just need to know if he's still alive. But as far as I know. A couple of more Mexicans here. Are you gonna want my help? Thank you. Yeah. For. For everything. I'm dying. I got your back. Uh, just what you do. Absolutely. Okay. I'll leave it to Marty here to work out the details. Oh, shit. Marty fucking sold that shit. Marty. Only Marty Byrne can move to Missouri and somehow convince me to partner with a bunch of rednecks. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, you don't call them rednecks. What was it? Only Marty Bird can somehow convince me to partner with a bunch of rednecks. I knew that was coming with the guns. Oh, shit! I want to buy that talk. You know that. Man was guessed. You fucked us. Oh, you've completely fucked oh. us. Are you out of your goddamn minds? Huh? Are you fucking crazy? Mm. Your new partner is going to be expecting him home. And when he does, they'll send another Mexican to take his place. There's one thing Mexico is full of, it is Mexicans. In one episode, she killed Dell and cut a baby out of a, a so woman's body. They're gonna honor it. And if they don't, then your partnership does now. And we know how to look after our own. He's gonna protect him. Go home. Relax. Maybe get yourself a frozen custard. <laughs> Me and Darlene will clean up this mess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got you here. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. Wait, who's in the car, Marty? They think it's Dell's people. Oh, Christ, Doc. But how does he explain he's in Dell's car? How do you explain that? How do you get out they of They picked me up. Yeah. Buddy can attest to that. Yeah. Mexicans picked him up and took him. Where the hell is he? Who? Camino Del Rio. Where the fuck is he? I, I don't know down. who that is. I've been in this car all day. No one else has been in it. Smart. What? Smart. Wait, where are you going? I'm pulling this out of the way, and I'm going up there. Yeah, no. no I can't let you do that. Yeah, yeah, no warrant. The warrant was to locate the car. We found it. You shit me, right? No. I don't have probable cause to go on private property. Sure. I've got a witness who saw Del Rio in this car. Can you produce him? Let me see if he's sober enough to pick up his phone. Yeah. Good shot. Maybe if you weren't so shit-faced, you could have helped out with the investigation. No, he had to stay undercover in a sense because he was just a guy in town, remember? Oh, boy. Oh, his entire case. Now he's chasing a fucking ghost. Yeah. Cause he was going after Dell. Does yeah. he even know who Dell works for? Petty's entire case this season fucking fell apart, which yeah. I kind of like. I, I like that. Yeah. You were right. Um, it's it's never gonna be safe here. Then you come to us. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Is he okay? Are we going home? Can I get my gun back? Is it unsafe there right now, right this second? Honestly, I do not know. Look, I know you're just trying to take us somewhere safe, but that place doesn't exist. We should at least stay together. 
Mike Fleming likes hogs. <laughs> Jonah Bird likes turkey vultures. <laughs> I can't start over. <laughs> fuck that shit. Don't run. My son Don't coming. run. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Oh, yeah. he's leaving the kid? Yeah. Yeah. I really hope I just don't see him taking the kid and be like... <laughs> <laughs> Please don't tell me he's sending the kid down the fucking river. Oh, he's going to walk right into the water. Is he going to kill himself? Yeah, wake the fuck up, bro. Yeah, dude, what are you doing? Snap out of it, man. Yeah, dude. I understand you just lost the love of your life, but... And everything he believed in, everything he thought he was doing was for, for, for nothing. Baptize the kid? No? Oh, that's rough. Oh, my... God, holy crap, dude! I, I I can't watch that. Oh, did he change his mind, or was that like a very yeah. extended no. baptism? Hey. <laughs> That's it, Amethyst. Oh, I feel that Little tail. I didn't realize they had that. You ready? Oh, Look at you, Ruth. Looking cute. I love you. I love you too. Dad! Dad! Sugarwood! <laughs> so fucking good. Ah. Damn. Holy Fuck. shit. On one hand, it was really good. On the other hand, I was just Those hoping for it to nitpicks. not be no, I, so not obvious. But like I was just her? hoping. Yeah, like I mean, like you, you've seen that. Not to mention because you've seen it a bunch of times this season. I was kind of hoping that they were going to do that. They're going to do that and then turn it upside yeah, down yeah. on its head and be like, "Oh shit!" Like, but I, I also liked the fact that even though shit went sideways, I feel like now he has more backing because Jacob basically said, "I have your back." Right. That's so, the only so thing he, that's a little different. Where there's the veer in the road, where it's like, okay, you're, you're still working with. That yes. mile cut where, where Dell was, but now you've got some home base, like home yes, advantage. Yes, you, you have Darlene and fucking Jacob. I on guess the side. That. with that, you That's have the sheriff on your side. Because That's now you're like, yeah, yeah. Now but you, like I said, though, as the fact that this has been out for a while and I don't know it. Yes. I knew the wife wasn't leaving. Because I knew she's a part of, course, of the show. Yeah, of course not. Yeah. So like, it's, but that's the other thing that kind of Vic sucks. Vic Mackey's was, wife left for a few episodes of season two. Yeah, Vic Mackey's wife was not as invested or, or in no, the shit. No, like, she's just going to go. Karen. Karen was, was not, nowhere nearly And she, she was like, Vic, you're a cop? <laughs> like, what the hell do you think I've been doing with this whole... Like, no, but I mean, like, she, she from the jump, knew yeah. that Marty was dirty. Like, yeah, right? yeah. it took, you know, until Gilroy was coming in and then she took the kids. And then yeah, they, like, yeah, yeah. And even then, she didn't know to what extent... All right, but what did you think about Buddy fucking killing? Oh, dude, I poor wanted man's that. Of a team. I want. <laughs> I told you that was yes. Eric Estrada. Yeah, yeah, sorry. sorry. Um, that was a great scene. I, and I, fucking Jonah I wanted, grabbing the gun. I wanted that to happen, but I completely forgot that the clip was unloaded. Me too. So that, too, I it, forgot it made it better when he dude. pulls the trigger and clicks, and he's like, "What are you? Did you just hear him?" Is dude, I'm, like, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Even after that, I didn't really. I forgot Buddy fucking took the bullets out until you said that shit. I'm like, why the fuck did the gun work? You're like, that's what happens. God, Buddy you... took care of it. I'm like, oh right. That's what happens when you leave a rifle in the leaves. And yeah, James it, it, on it. That's it, what I was like. What's filled with dirt and pumpkin I thought, seeds? I, I thought that, that uh, that's what it was. Yeah, fish turds and pumpkin seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy was amazing in this episode. Them having the fucking funeral home. To be able to dispense, you know, oh, dispatch the, the body. The was there with him. That was awesome, right? That was so good. It felt like, okay, we're beginning like Buddy being a part of shit. Oh, yeah. See, that's the other thing is is you can't leave. Because I'm like, oh, so we're just writing Buddy up? I'm like, no, fuck, fuck no. that. I'm well, like, you, you, know, don't, you don't do that. No. And they're just like, well, he was a season one character. No, no. Like, do you think we get Rachel again? I'm okay with either which way with Rachel. I liked her in season one. I, I like that. I, you know what my favorite part was? How hopeful she was that like Marty brought her like the yes, idea yes, of like, and hope and like that this place was gonna be like she said she so didn't like I, this I place. get I get why she took the money but I, I mean I've seen too much crap like 
You know what it was? I'm thinking of. But she hasn't seen what I'm, we've seen. Yeah, but I'm 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 straight up just thinking of No Country for Old Men. You find a briefcase, you leave I it. Touch shit. You know, I don't need fucking Xavier Bardem. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, give me the I'm money, good. Brendo. I'm I, good. I, I'm so I'm not, I'm like no, nope, just kick some dirt on that crap, and I will no. Nope. With the way that things were going, it, it's almost like lost. I was like, oh man, maybe they'll do this. Okay, they were all... Uh, okay. But like, certain things like, you wanted to see, you did get. You oh, no, no, absolutely. I'm not sitting that. there and being like, oh, no, no, this no, is I like, you know... I'm no, no, just I get really it. kind of hoping that... Like Basically, I said, the fact point that like, you wanted Delta a little longer. Honestly, that's yeah, really that's, what I was That was a great character. I, I, I kind of wanted to see where he'd go with that. Yeah, yeah. It was just like... I, I was disappointed Del died. The problem is, is Del had a relationship with Marty, which yeah, you, gave him some buffer. Now you're the other per- the next person up is going to be like, I don't know who the fuck you are. Yeah, yeah, you... you like, yeah, Del but, liked but Marty. But I like that, though. Like, yeah, you, you know, know, I usually see that, because like, I'm glad we got that prequel of like, the that history. That episode was so good. Because that gave him more... Con- like, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the finale was extended. It was basically a short movie. Yeah. And that had a lot on pack. Dude, okay, they usually okay. throw in a lot with, um... Hold on. Wrap this up, because I'm going to piss my pants. Okay. Mason, I thought he was driving his kid. <laughs> that, <laughs> that that fucking, I, I, I well, thought... I wasn't touching myself during it. And that oh, out. God. Drown that baby. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it just... It, it is... It, it, it takes your breath like, away first time. I'm like, have I was I seeing this? I didn't remember that. I don't see that. I didn't remember The only thing I'm like, no, he's baptizing it. No, please just tell me he's baptizing it. Oh, my God. So good. We'll be back for episode one of season two very soon. You ready for this? No. (laughs) R.I.P. Dell, Grace. Did we lose somebody else in this season? Oh, uh, poor man's... uh, Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada. (laughs) That was it. Those were the big deaths of uh, episode ten, right? Yeah. Grace, Dell, Eric... Dell. And Dell's... Right hand guy that was polishing his uh, gun over oh. on the side with Jacob's right hand yeah. guy. Mohawk. Yeah. What did you call oh, Jacob's right hand guy? Was it G- Gunther? Gunther? Or... <laughs> oh, I think his name is Ash, though. I think, I think it's Ash. Yeah, it's Ash. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Till next time, Ozark, keep watching. <laughs>